Hey everyone, Zero Jitty here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Battle Axe, a top-down hack and slash game, which I've been enjoying even though I am not the best at the arcade mode. I'm a lot better at the infinite mode, which I'll show off later. Arcade mode follows a story where you have to defeat this evil queen lady. Pretty basic. Uh, anyways, uh, there are three playable characters. I've actually really liked Faye. They actually have their names. Uh, as you probably guessed, the druid has his magic and all that kind of stuff. This is the sort of uh, thief lady, and this is a dude with a uh, cannon. They do have uh, different special abilities. He has a charge, she has a spin attack, and he has a teleport. He's actually pretty good. Uh, he's actually able to like plant his feet and fire his ranged attack. Uh, these two are much better at like close range combat, and uh, we're gonna actually use Faye right now. So, like I said before, I got my attack. This is my spinning attack. I can throw stuff as well. Uh, the uh, Marauder dude, the dwarf guy, actually has a much faster firing attack that he can use while moving around. And his charge attack's really fun. Uh, but as you can see in the upper left, I got my uh, character there. I have two lives. I haven't gotten incredibly far in this mode. I've gotten to about the middle of the second area. Uh, I got my health clips there, which I got four, which you can upgrade at stores. And uh, next to that is a little, like, uh, sort of item storage. Like, if I get extra food, I can store it and use it later by hitting Y or use bombs. Below that, I believe, are upgrades you can get. I bought, I got one during the infinite mode that seemed to make me move a lot faster, which was fun. I uh, also noticed that I have a, like, hit meter. That little red bar there uh, counts down, so that's just my meter. Uh, in each uh, uh, level, you can actually keep rescue villagers, which I think are Kickstarter, backer, Kickstarter backers, because uh, they'll have, like, normal names, uh, like, 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 uh, um, these examples, Joe, Phil, and all that kind of stuff, Margaret, and then they'll have names like, like, Xbox Gamer Tags, or PlayStation Network, uh, PSN names, or Steam names, sort of teams. So it uh, very much seems like, uh, this is someone's username that I don't want to take that because it'll replace my item. There we go. Uh, the spin attack is actually on a little cooldown. When I character flashes, I can reuse it again. Maris. Uh, the infinite mode is essentially you collect, uh, you save all the villages and then move on. I'm not sure what causes the uh, completion in this mode. I want to say it is collecting the villagers. He was in there last time. And there we go. Keep on going. Most of the time, I take damage from those things. And there's these weird generators everywhere. Sometimes they block off areas. Sometimes they don't. Keep on going. Like Hagen's Valley, Devil DJ. Devil DJ, 100% a Discord tag. We'll get through here, and uh, at the end of this, uh, there is a boss. There we go. Keep on moving. Uh, the coins, like I said before, you can buy stuff. So uh, collect all you can. Well, I got just dude exploded. I think if you don't destroy these generators, uh, in some areas they'll just keep spawning. There you go. Uh, it kind of falls apart for me when I get to the first boss. I do like that they explode into like ludicrous jibs. Uh, let's check out these names. See, like these seem more like closer to like normal names. And then I think, yeah, here's the boss. So like I, maybe if I had gotten here without everyone, I wouldn't have gotten the boss. I don't know. Get him. This is where it starts to fall apart for me. I believe the guy, oop, dang, the Marauder dude has a much stronger ranged attack. Oof. Come on. 
We got this. After this, we'll go and check out the infinite mode, which I enjoy a lot more. Because I get a lot more money and I get some upgrades and it's a lot more fun, I think. I'm just amazed she, they don't say that Faye needs food badly. Nope. Yeah, this is where it all falls, falls apart from. This is exactly what happened last time. Oh boy, come on. Got him. Woo. E rank. I think you get a higher rank if you go faster. There you are. Can I sell you something? So this recovers health. This is a uh, sort of a... Um, like AOE spell. This improves your overall health. I think this makes you go faster. I think this gives you more defense or attack, and I have no idea what this does. But since we're not gonna really do anything, we're gonna Goodbye. We're gonna peace out. We're gonna I'll show you the next level, but Stage two. The forgotten mind. So this is when they start introducing enemies that take like two hits. I think she uh, attacks the. She is the fastest uh, melee attacker. There we go. Just explode everything. Thank you. All right, let's actually. Uh, also, you can turn this on. You can make it a CRT. Oh, nostalgia. We'll turn that off. I know not everyone likes it. I really like the announcer voice, though. So we're gonna use him. But yeah, like, look at me go. So this mode is to find the people and get out. You kind of have to survive this, like, little uh, area. And the enemies just keep spawning. So yeah, you can, you can just hammer. Also, he does have his, like, thing. He's got a good little dash there. I'm not too worried about the health because uh, there are a lot of chests that spawn and it is so easy to like, just walk pat away from enemies and get like a ton of money. It's like I already have enough for like three health points. If I wanted to, I could just kind of like camp out in a corner to just kind of get everything back. I don't think the gems give you money. I think they just give you a score. Don't be like me when I first played this. You can actually punch through the uh, those gates. Get out of here. There you go. Potions give you health. What does it say? Something gaming. I don't. I can't look. We'll go save him. Oh, I didn't see that one. I think that is kind of a neat way to uh, include uh, backers, if that's what, exactly what it is. Also, holding it doesn't, like, charge it, which I didn't expect it to. I want to know where he's getting all the ammo from. So I just need to find, get to that last person, and then, oh, ow, we're out of here. There we go. Portal will spawn and off we go. Stage clear. Yeah. And then uh, the uh, actual shop will spawn randomly in this area. And now a lot more things will spawn. Hey there. I don't know what that said, but that definitely wasn't a name. So he's, he's the actual one that I got uh, a chunk of the way uh, through the, uh, or at least a chunk of the way through the second level as. But that was a name. That was Sebastian. <laughs> There's an achievement for getting through 50 levels of this. Oh, there is the uh, Duck Viking. No, no, really. That's my uh, that's my given name. I am Duck Viking. 
Few, very few know that Techno Viking is his actually given name. So this, if I wanted to get some more health, I could, but we're gonna. And then we're gonna we're gonna take one for the road. And then she actually vanishes for this entire area. Mooncat. Oop, going back over this way. I know I'm I'm skipping so many coins. And I'm like So that's a that's one coin. I really wanted to see if the gems give you money. They do, I think. Or maybe that was a gem and a coin. I don't know. No, they do not. Okay. What are you, Captain Lumpy? Maybe the gems do. I don't know. It is the world's biggest mystery. We will never know if the gems give you uh, money. He's an achievement, of course, for destroying a certain amount of monsters. What are you, Andy Lamb? Hold on, we're gonna go down here. So actually, one of the best ratings I get is when I just kind of powered through the level. We're gonna destroy this. Here we go. But anyways, I am Zerjitty. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, ask down below in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you. See you, everyone.